Yes, believe it or not, Trillo is going to be the witness. We have to cross-examine a puppet. I liked it better when we cross-examined a parrot, to be quite honest. This puppet is kind of rude. Celebrities must really enjoy saying everything that flashes into their minds. So, so true. Well, that was a concise testimony. Ooh, good point, good point, Judge, good point. Huh, why not? Well, wasn't it possible for the clown to steal the hat and then leave it at the scene of the crime to frame the defendant? Oh well, time for cross-examination. What you want to do is press the statement about Max being the only person he saw. I mean, that's wrong. Two people went down that pathway. Max and the victim. Right? Right? Why didn't he see the victim? So this is going to throw some suspicion onto this testimony. The next piece of testimony you want to, uh, press is going to be the one about what he was doing outside. That is the last statement. The last statement. This one about when the police showed up. When we press this one, we get to talk about what he was doing outside. Because the witness is claiming that he was outside for half an hour.
Okay, so this is the dialog that appears when you press both of those statements. You want the statement about the fact that he didn't see the ringmaster and the statement that he was waiting for Regina. Attention! Put together, they show that he really wasn't paying attention whatsoever. Attention! So we should probably just ignore this testimony. Great, yes, we have to waste time figuring out what was going on with him trying to propose to Regina. Judge, no. You don't need to propose to her. 